look so cool right now. It's like we're from the game. Oh, great. Now I just want to go home and play cards. Sorry, I'm making Me so too. much noise, guys. I'm just so thirsty. <laughs> Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you enjoy watching our content, show us some love by liking the video. And ring the bell to make sure you get notified whenever we drop new content. We appreciate you all. Hey guys, what's going on? Kevin here from Airsoft GI. And Bo as a video producer. And today we're going to be doing a Tactical Gearheads inspired by the newest Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. Which is a requirement for all Airsoft YouTube channels, which we, we, we are, right? We, I think we are. Oh, okay, alright. Wait, but if you're here, then who's behind the camera? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's well, get into it. Okay guys, starting this video off, I'm going to be going over my Tactical Gear Heads loadout, which is obviously inspired by Kruger from Modern Warfare, as you can tell by this edgy, very spooky green netting. Hey Kevin, turn the lights off! <laughs> Wait, what, why'd you guys turn the lights back on? Alright, we gotta keep going. Starting off traditionally in Tactical Gear Heads fashion, I'm going to be going over head to toe of my outfit and kit. So starting off at the top, I'm wearing a classic army helmet. Uh, it looks sort of like a bike helmet underneath, uh, which is actually what the Danish Jaeger Corps uses. They use like a precursor to uh, your modern fast type bump helmet. And on top of this, I am wearing a green mesh sniper netting, I believe. I just found it on Amazon. I like both of these pieces. They're actually very affordable. I believe as of right now, the helmet itself is only retailing for $15. And then this thing on Amazon, you can probably find it for like five to $10. Finishing off the rest of my head, I have a classic army balaclava underneath in dark brown to conceal my face and make me look extra spookier on the field. For my rig, I'm actually using a army surplus Alice belt system, I believe. I did find it at an army surplus store somewhere for like 30 bucks, I believe. The prices vary depending on which service store you go to, but they're fairly affordable just because the US Army doesn't use it anymore. But I've left most of these pouches down here um, stock. I didn't really remove anything just because it takes away from that nice vintage look. Uh, I do have some Condor OD uh, mag pouches over here on the side, a Condor dump pouch on the back, and a Lancer Tactical drop leg holster on my right. Uh, other than that, I just left most of the pouches again completely stock, and then um, wherever I can fit them, I'll just put extra M4 mags here just to keep me going on the field. On my hands, I'm wearing Mechanics Fast Fit Woodland Gloves. I know in the game, Kruger himself does wear those hard knuckle, hard shell gloves, but man, they really take away your finger mobility, and I absolutely detest them, so I just choose these nice, flexible Fast Fits. Uh, on my feet, I am wearing some Army Surplus Combat Boots. They're, they're pretty uncomfortable, actually. I, I kind of don't really want to wear these for too long. The main attraction of the Tesla with your heads is the gap piece right here. We actually just got this in. This is a SIG Air Pro Force Virtus MCX, which is, it has a mouthful, dude. Why, yeah. are they, why are their gun names so long? At this point already, you probably already noticed that the MCX I'm holding actually closely resembles the M13 in the video game. I know it's not a very good weapon in the game as of right now, but it is one of my favorites. This probably explains why I've gone through so many keyboards and mice. Yeah, you suck. Wanna fight? Internally, uh, the MCX actually features the entire suite of VFC's Gen 2 Avalon internal system. I'm not going to go too much in detail about the gun right now just because there will be a review coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. However, to accessorize my gun, I did include a Lancer Tactical Red Dot T1 over here. I have a Magpul AFG, some MP7 style sights just because they're really low profile. And I think that's it. I didn't really put too much on it. I did put an older PMAG of mine I had and just put some red electrical tape to let all the epic gamers out there know I'm running 300 blackout. For my sidearm, I'm using the SIG Proforce M17 in CO2. I believe in Modern Warfare it's called the M19, but eh, close enough. Uh, since my review of the M17 on Airsoft GI, I've done a couple more things to it. Um, I did add some granulated grip tape, which is an attachment in Call of Duty, to improve my overall grip of the gun. Uh, the CO2 does take a bit harder, and I really like the feel of an aggressive texture when I'm holding my pistol, so I spent a lot of time cutting out these pieces and making sure it fits overall the gun. Um, I did add an aftermarket optics uh, mounting system, which I did find from overseas, which then I proceeded to mount a replica Trijicon RMR on there, and raise suppressor height sights to co-witness together. 
Top and bottom, they're both actually true spec OD green combat shirt and combat pants. I do know that in the game, I believe Kruger also wears some variation of like some Flectarn type camo. Uh, personally, I don't really like Flectarn. I actually do like the clean look of OD green. That's why I chose it. And you know what? It's actually pretty comfortable. That about wraps it up for my tattoo of your heads on my Kruger impression loadout. I am noticing actually online that the Danish Jaeger core boys are getting some clout, probably because of how spooky they look. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I, I was very surprised at how affordable this loadout actually is. Uh, most of the stuff you can find on airsoftgi.com and for some vintage gear like this Alice system, you can find it easily at an army circle store. All right, so now it's my turn. I am going to be doing a loadout inspired by Wyatt from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, obviously, I'm using his specialty uh, Asian skin that uh, you can only purchase using our special code Union Pirates. <laughs> this is so bad! What have gone through to me? <laughs> In all seriousness, I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about what gear I'm wearing and then finish off with what kind of weapons I'm using. So let's get started. Starting from the top, I am wearing a Condor tactical hat in tan and a Condor shemag as well. Uh, on my body, I am wearing the Fly medium speed plate carrier and for my mag pouches, I'm just using Condor SMG mag pouches. They really had to call this plate carrier a medium speed plate carrier? No, but think about it. It makes sense because you yourself would consider yourself a high speed speedy boy. So with the mm. plate carrier, you'll go down to medium, medium speed. speed. Genius. Yeah. I got it now. All right. On my waist, I am wearing the HSGI Sure Grip Battle Belt in tan, as well as some tacos on the side that are in multicam, and a tan uh, dump pouch from Condor, and finally the drop leg holster from Condor. I know I'm wearing a lot of Condor, but the film and video game industry use a lot of Condor in their work, so what can you do? Lastly, on the lowest part of my body, I am just wearing some knee pads I found at an army surplus store while I was shopping with Boaz. Um, but if you're looking for something with a similar look, you can check out the Condor knee pads that we sell at Airsoft GI. Um, and of course, Condor again. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Condor. Yeah. And on my hands, I'm wearing the uh, multicam mechanics gloves. And for my clothes, I'm just wearing a blue shirt and some tan joggers. I would wear some tan tactical pants, but I don't own any. Um, but yeah, pretty simple loadout. Um, White is dressed pretty simply in the game. Uh, he kind of looks like a private contractor, which makes this loadout pretty easy to do. Uh, all I need is an Australian patch. Cisco, can we get some Australian patches? Uh, no. eBay some Australian patches. But we love you Australians. I love you Australians. On my feet, I'm just wearing some Nike sneakers that I always wear when I go airsofting. I do own a pair of boots, but I uh, forgot them. Uh, they are just some Walmart brand hiking boots. Um, pretty nice, the interceptors, if you know, you know. They're Gucci. Let's go fire him. He's being sloppy, he's not bringing stuff to work. I mean, I forgot my boots that one type of gear is, so. For my primary weapon, I did choose to Pick the MP7 by Elite Force, the AEG version. Um, this is actually our Tex Taylor's MP7, and he did do some crazy modifications to it, obviously Cerakoted in uh, Desert Tan. BFC, check it. Look, this looks nice. Next product, maybe? Hmm? Hmm? For the attachments on this MP7, Taylor did decide to go with the Atlas Customs suppressor on here that he actually had to drill out and fit himself. He also tossed in a tracer unit on the inside and made it so that it can fit exactly onto the MP7 flash hider. Very nice. On the side we have the Opsman flashlight and on top we have the Bravo Peck Box in tan as well as the Lancer Tactical T1 Honor Riser and he also painted this in tan as well. Finally, we have the Wii butt pad, not from Wii Tech, but actually WII Wii, uh, that is specifically made for VFC V7s. That's about it. Lastly, for my secondary, I'm running my custom G series, which in Modern Warfare it is called the X16, but we all know it's a Glock. On my G series, the Bowie Tactical Concepts custom slide kit on the top with the side tracker uh, outer barrel. On the uh, lower frame, I am actually running the KJ Works KP13 lower frame, uh, which interestingly enough, that whole gun is completely DMG series. Cool. So if you're looking for a unique look to your G series, you take the KP13 lower frame, slap on a TM G series, and it'll work just fine. And lastly, I just added some uh, granulated grip tape uh, to improve my aim down sight speed. 
Overall, like I said, this loadout is pretty easy to replicate. It's pretty simple. It is unfortunate that why it's a costume or a loadout, whatever you want to call it, is pretty generic, but that just makes it easier on your end to replicate. And actually, this is what I would wear if I were ever to play outdoors. Keyword, ever to play outdoors. Um, everything you see here is available for purchase at airsoftgi.com, except for this specific tan MP7. This is Taylor's, like I said, got it center coded, uh, and my side kit on my pistol. Can't buy that here, sorry. But we're gonna play outdoors. Keyword ever. Okay, not gonna lie though, you look really good with outdoor kit. Thanks. Yeah, just come out. Yeah. Check it. Coward. Alright, thank you guys so much for checking out our Modern Warfare inspired tactical gearheads. And as always, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification button below. Not above, below to get notified of every time we upload a brand new video. We do upload every Monday and Friday, so be sure to be on the lookout for our newest videos. I'm Boaz. And Kevin from Airsoft GI. And uh, make sure to catch us out on the field or in game 2v2 us right now. Gunfight. 2v2 gunfight? Oh, 2v2 you won't. Gunfight. You won't. Gamer tags right here. You won't. Bring it. See you next time.